Replenishable products are the key to building a sustainable side hustle or business with Amazon Online Arbitrage. Finding products I can buy and sell again and again was the key to making over $100,000 profit in just my first 10 months flipping name brand products on Amazon. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Miles. I'm a 25-year-old seven-figure Amazon seller on a mission to help as many of you guys as possible build a business or side hustle of your dreams this year. In this video, I'm going to give you a full overview of how to track, find, and manage an army of replenishable products to grow your Amazon business fast. Here inside my screen, and to start off, I'm going to show you guys examples of a couple replenishable products and my mindset around them, how I'm going to track them, and then we're going to source and see if we can find another replenishable product here that's nice and profitable. We can see this pair of baseball pants, it makes sense that this would be increasing in demand this time of year with baseball season approaching. We can see it's currently buy boxing at $44.99. So we can see our max cost on Celeram in order to be profitable after shipping, fees, sales tax, everything is about $25 here. We can see over on Hibbit, that same pair of pants actually retails at $25, but we also have a 15% off code we can go ahead and use right here. So it's not $25 here, it's actually $25 minus another 15%. So we're just gonna multiply that by 0.85 and that makes this item nice and profitable. However, what I'm more worried about is the lifetime value of this specific SKU in my Amazon business. So if we scroll down here, we can see, if we take a look at the last year, we have a very good chance of making money at this buy cost. Therefore, even if this item wasn't good today, I would want to track this over time, considering I can see at a $21 cost, there's been a ton of times, probably three to four months over the past year, where this has been 40 plus and been nice and profitable, even 39 you know, depending on your sales tax situation, right? We can see 39, you know, 44 and such here. So a product like this, even if it wasn't profitable today, I would want to go ahead and track over time. And the cool thing is a seasonal product like this, we can see the sales rank was way higher during the, you know, October, November when no one's buying baseball pants. But then all summer, the demand's a lot better looking at this sales rank right here. So even if this item wasn't profitable today, I would still want to go ahead and add this to a, a replen product sheet and go ahead and add this to the Selleramp spreadsheet here. This is using the one-click export feature in Selleramp where we can see it goes ahead and that data immediately exports right here. So now what I would do is go ahead and add in this link right here, right? And say, anytime this is 40 plus, snag it right here. And that's the key. Like I can build a big spreadsheet of stuff really quick because there's a lot of items you guys are gonna find as you're doing product research that even if they aren't good today, they will be good at some point and you can build an insane catalog of replenishable products fast using this model of just finding stuff where even if it's not profitable today, adding it to a spreadsheet because if you do this for a couple months, you're going to have tons of different products that are ebbing and flowing in that of profitability, especially when we're talking about the context of evergreen coupons and not necessarily purchasing products that are on sale, right? So the seller amp one click Google Sheets export is incredibly helpful for this stuff. Another great example of this is going to be this Glossier product that's actually not profitable today. It's currently buy boxing at $17.21 here. We can see we can pick up a three pack on the Glossier website for $36. There's also a 15% code right here. So it's actually 36 right here. And then we wanna take off 15% right here and then buy by three because it's a three pack. So we can see this is currently a 5% ROI. That doesn't cut it, not even close. But if we scroll down to Keepa here and take a look at the past year, we can see there's been several months, like literally that whole period from July until, you know, close to into November, that this was $24 plus, $23, $24 plus, where if we take a look at the price right there, the profit, that whole period of time, it was $6 profit and a 60% ROI. So all I need to go ahead and do is add this to a one-click uh, export here and add this to the replen sheet here, right? And now we can see this product over here, we can go ahead and post this link right here, right? And put and say, anytime this is uh, 23 plus here, snag it, right? And that's the key is that there's so many examples that you guys are gonna come across. And I did this the wrong way for a while. When I saw stuff, I was historically profitable on with an evergreen coupon. I wouldn't add to a spreadsheet to check from time to time. And that was majorly to my detriment. Like this pair of socks right here is about $21 currently in the buy box here. Right, and we can see we can pick it up over on the brand website for thirteen dollars here. Right, but we can also see if we take a look down here, boom, we can get a little twenty percent off right here. So we go ahead and actually take go thirteen, take off twenty percent right here. We can see this is decently close to being profitable, four bucks profit, it's not bad. 
But if we take a look here historically, if we take a look at the past year, right, we can see there's a bunch of examples of whenever the competition goes down, competition's currently up right here, so I probably would avoid this currently, but I can see there's a ton of examples when the competition was substantially lower where this has been a nice sustainable product and that at this buy cost here, pretty much from like October 18th, till like mid February, like 75, 80% of the time there, this was actually a good product. So this is totally the kind of thing I want to go ahead and add to a replen sheet right here and go ahead and copy this and say right here, like 20% sign up code, good a lot of the time, right? And what I would also want to do is rock and roll down here and hit the variations. There's probably going to be other variations of this specific SKU right here that have been good from time to time right here. Cause we can see, take a look here, we can see, yeah, look at look at the competition on some of the stuff. Like if this starts going down here, like there's probably gonna be some money to make on that. Like if this this competition is is probably pretty close right there. Like it's competition shooting down there and such, right? Other skis, right? Like if those pop up to like 23, which they probably have been from time to time, that's gonna work. And this is literally how you guys are gonna do it. And that I think the best way to build an epic database of replants here. Cause there's constantly, the market's gonna be changing on stuff. Different products are gonna be getting into season like those baseball pants, football, soccer, volleyball products in August. Like you can go ahead and with Evergreen coupons, find a ton of stuff that, his, that currently is not profitable, that historically is profitable when it's in season and make either uh, separate Google Sheets just for those seasons or specific SKUs right here and build out a really nice catalog and such. Like what I'd also add here is like, check all variations as well here, right? And you can see like stuff's constantly gonna be flowing in and out of profitability, especially when we're talking about evergreen coupons. And this is a great way to do it here. So we can see this product right here, buy boxing at $21.67. BSR is about 16K. Over on the brand website, it's about $11 right here. And there is a 10% off signup coupon. So if we go here, 11, take off 10%. Risk is about 10 bucks um, in the buy cost, actually is profitable today. Beautiful. But if we go ahead and scroll down here, we can see over the past year right here, we have a very, very good chance of being profitable, especially if we hop down here and hit the data buy box stats here, go to the year, we can see filter top to bottom by price. Like there's a ton of time we've been making money on this. Like a ton of people have gotten 2% of the buy box share where we're nice and profitable on this specific SKU, right? And we can see literally unlimited examples of us either being profitable or pretty damn close here. And taking a look at the price history, we can see beautiful examples of how probably, you know, four to seven months out of the year and many points of consistency right here, we have been nice and profitable with that evergreen coupon. And that's a great example of the type of product you want to be tracking and checking over time in order to see if it's ebbing and flowing in and out of profitability and snagging test orders whenever it is. And once you've been in the game for a couple of years, you could potentially have hundreds or even thousands of products that this works on. The cool thing is small brands like Rare Beauty and Glossier and Bombas, for example, those products primarily only come from the brand websites. Therefore, you know where the inventory is coming from. You know the coupons if you can find them. And then all you have to do is just wait for the items to become profitable because we can clearly see that they ebb and flow in and out of it taking a look here. Right. So now let's go ahead and, and rock and roll down here and see if we can find more examples just storefront stocking these sellers. Another thing I like to do is go here and hit data. And then offers right here. And I don't love, I don't look at the third sold 30, sold 90 day data. I, I, that's inaccurate. I don't look at that. But if we go here, I can see there's been people replanting this product forever. Like this was first seen two years ago, first seen 22 months ago. Most of you guys watching this video haven't even been into that stuff for this long. And these are people that initially started selling this product. It doesn't mean they've been in stock the whole time. Right? But we can see there's been nice ebbing and flowing in the competition. So we know that this product's moving here. Right. And now people have been on this for a while, which really validates that it's reseller friendly. So if we go ahead and open up some of these sellers that have, you know, a bunch of reviews here that we know are making money. Right. Let's go ahead and see what we got in terms of tracking some other stuff down specifically right here. Right. So now just storefront stocking with seller amp, right. We can see examples of all the different sellers that are carrying these procs and go ahead and dial in and try to find some stuff profitably and such as seeing. Yeah. Like, look, so sellers got a bunch of the, the rare beauty brand. We we're just talking about that we know there's a 10% tech sign of code. There's probably going to be some of these SKUs that are profitable from time to time here, right? So let's go ahead and open these up and we can see that one we already did. Let's see. So 12, 20 K let's go ahead and uh, look this up here. We can see rare beauty. Yeah. So 23, so we can pay like, you know, 20 bucks um, for it. I don't really see any time when this was 40. 
in terms of the past three months here. Looking a little cheap right here, nice and stable. This one, for example, though, at 11. Let's go ahead and see what can we pay for this. Let's see, four and one right here. Let's see, 27 here. So 14 on Sephora, though. Let's see, has this ever been profitable at a 14 buy cost here? Ah, this is the mini one, though. Yeah, mini. It's four and one, 1.184 allowance. Oh, this is the mini one. Okay, cool. Yeah, 1.184 allowance here. Then we'd see, yeah, 1.18 floral ounce here, right? So we'd see we can pay, yeah, 14 bucks for this right here. So 14, it's 22. So it's just about, yeah, 5% ROI here. Has this ever been profitable at this uh, this cost though? Right? We'd see, oh, wow, actually, so there was a while where this was profitable, specifically here, like 28 and such. It was uh, up there hanging out good for, let's see, October 28th to like, yeah, November in November, I wouldn't necessarily call this a replan though, because we can see it's it's been way lower. Either we can't find it cheap enough, um, or there's just people not making money on it. So I assume, considering the market has gone up, the people are making money on this. I just don't know where they're finding it at a profitable price here. Let's see. So we take a look at some of these other brands and such. Basically, like this Maglite um, brand is small enough where I think it primarily just comes from the brand website here. So there probably is going to be some opportunity where this where these use have been profitable on the brand website. So let's see. Let's go at twelve dollar cost right here. And we'd see, so yeah, Maglite right here. Open these up. We're at 28 bucks right here. Now, the cool thing is there is a 40% code right here that's evergreen that we can go ahead and use. Right here. So if we see we're paying, yeah, $28 minus 40% right here. So about 28.75 times 0.6 right here. Right. So we can see 17 cost. Has this ever been profitable here? We can see. Uh, yeah, right. There have been several examples where this is, you know, 34 plus and such. Um, or definitely not for a while though. So I probably wouldn't um, go ahead and replenish eat this. What about any of the other variations here? Have any of these guys consistently been 30 plus? Because, you know, if we can find some that's been consistently up there, like that's not going to be bad. Um, all right, we'll, try, we'll see. We'll take a look at another one of these. Black one right here. Let's see, 25 right here. And we can see. Yeah, and you obviously want to make sure it's the right product and such too and, uh, and everything. But let's see, 28 here. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. So this one, yes, this was hanging out there for pretty much like six months last year um, in at least the close to profitable range where it's been way lower in the past and uh, the recent history. So we're not going to worry about that though. Let's see 22 right here. Maglite blue. All right. Let's see. Chipboard box. Okay. Let's see. And let's see $11 right here. Let's look that up too. We're here 24. Aha. Okay. I'm liking where we're going with this here. So let's see. So this one we can pay 24 minus 40%. Let's see. Ah, yeah, here we go. So 26. So let's see. So we're at uh, 24, right? And we'd obviously have to make sure the uh, color was correct here, right? So 14, this has primarily been hanging out up at 26 and such. That is not quite good. It's pretty close to being good. Um, have any of these other colors work though? Let's see, blue 22 here. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Like you would want to take a look at all these right here and such. We can see like 21 here, uh, 21 in black. Let's see. Take a look at all these. And that's the nice thing about stuff with variations is like stuff with variations is flown in and out of profitability all the time and such. Let's see. Let's see 26 here. Yes. Yeah, so like for example, like we can see there was, you know, last summer it, from July to like, yeah, the 30th right there, like it was up at 29. Like that's nice and profitable at a 14 buy cost. Right. So that's the kind of thing I would super go ahead and uh, add to a replen sheet right here, right? Go ahead and export this and then go ahead and add in that link here and say like, um, if it touches 29 plus, nice and profitable. I even might add like three, three, 19 slash 24 add the date range and such. So I'm gonna go ahead and find another good example of a replen for you guys here. Just found another example on Dick Sporting Goods of a replen type of product. It's not even soccer season. This probably gets better during soccer season, definitely from a demand perspective. We can see these Nike Strike soccer sleeves are going for $12 on Dick Sporting Goods. And then we also have an evergreen 10% off coupon that we can go ahead and use right here. So we would go ahead and at 12, we would want to take off 10%. Right? So we go ahead and multiply that and we can see actually nice and profitable today, about five bucks profit. And then if we go ahead and take a look down here at the year-long Keepa, we can see there's a ton of examples of where this is 22 or even no buy box and even higher um, right here where this has been nice and profitable. Like we can see there, there's a bunch of examples where there's no buy box, lowest FBA is 27. 
and such, right? Buy box hanging out there as well in like November and such. And even though this product's out of season in November and December, it's still been nice and profitable here. And we can see for about the past month, Right here, this has been nice and profitable at that buy cost as well. So this is the kind of thing where if I just found this on my own, I'd probably place a test order of this, but I would also definitely go ahead and add this to a refund sheet here to go ahead and take a look at where it's like this one, I would put like um, right here, go ahead and plug in that Dick Sporting Goods link right here, like use 10% email, anytime, any variations, 23 plus snag and then like put the date right there specifically and such so this is a great example and you guys see there's tons of examples where even if the product's not profitable today or it is profitable today there's lots of stuff that has been profitable over time and especially we're talking about evergreen coupons there's going to be tons of examples to snag that inventory and you might as well be building out a beautiful database considering it takes basically no effort and then eventually you or your virtual assistant or you and the friend group of Amazon sellers you have can check these products to make sure that they're good as they become good as the market naturally flows. If you guys watch this late in the video and are interested in direct help and coaching with me to scale up your Amazon biz in the context of a live one-on-one -on -one sourcing call with myself, three times per week group coaching calls, me to find a ton of winning products with you, me to vet all the products you're going to take a look at, and then tons of coupons, tips, tricks, and strategies I don't share anywhere else, consider applying down below for my coaching program. This nice site build out that shows some of the students we've helped, a bunch of Q4 results and such. And if you're really serious about the stuff, it's something to consider doing as well. Either way, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. You can check out my full zero to 10K a month guide right here, my full free course right here. Subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next one.